one thought on every game right here on the Sports Bash. One thought every game. NFL insider Casey Joyner will give us his take on all the divisional round games. We're only down to four games, which kind of stinks because uh, that means we're running out of football. But we'll get one thought on every game with NFL insider Casey Joyner, thefootballscientist.com, as he joins us now on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline. But before we get there, I want to get his take uh, on the whole situation that has happened in Philly with Peterson. And if you have a choice, who is your favorite head coaching candidate? If I had a choice, who is my favorite head coaching candidate? Uh, David Shaw of Stanford would be my favorite if he was in the running, but he's not. He's the guy I keep saying every year that he'd be fantastic running the NFL team. So um, if I had to pick somebody, I'm still thinking I, I think that the would be a fantastic fit, but, uh, you know, you, do you want to wait that long? And, you know, he doesn't have Patrick Mahomes, so you wonder how to successfully be without him. But I still I love his leadership skills because I, I take the Steelers' approach where they went to Tomlin years ago because he was a great leader, and then everything else you can always hire play callers and things. So um, the enemy has the leadership skills and additional play calls. So he'd be my favorite. All right. Uh, by the way, did you think it was fair or just that Doug Peterson got fired? I think it was the right move because if – they always say if the players lose confidence in the coach that the coach has to go. It goes to the front office, too. If the front office starts to think that the coach can't do his job properly or that they always need to make changes, then, you know, then, it, then he's got to go. So they lost faith in him, and I think once that happens, you just can't, you can't, you can't get back from that. All right. Uh, well, that's what's happening here. Let's see what's happening with these uh, football games this weekend. We got one thought on the four games this weekend from Casey Joyner. It'll be a fast one. But let's get his take on this weekend's games. All right. The Rams are heading to Green Bay. Rams got this really good defense. Green Bay can put up a lot of points. You know, Green Bay at home here, but we don't know how much the home uh, field matters. But they have been very good in this situation, especially in the playoffs. Really tough to go to Green Bay and win a playoff football game. But if somebody could do it, it's maybe that Rams defense. Yeah, the Rams defense. The defense does travel well. They're on a six-game streak where they've allowed fewer than 200 net passing yards and fewer than 300 total offensive yards. They've racked up 100-plus rushing yards in all but two contests this season. Plus, they had zero giveaways last week. Amazing. It's the first time this year that L.A. had zero giveaways in a contest. Problem for them is Green Bay scores a ton, and the Packers have also held four of their last five votes to 16 or fewer points, so their defense is playing better. I like the Pack. All right. Uh, let's go to the late game all on Saturday. All games on 97.3 ESPN. Of course, you can hear all four. Baltimore, Buffalo. Buffalo's defense suspect. Baltimore really turned it up. Finally, last week was the first time they really uh, looked like they dominated a game in a while. And then, of course, Buffalo, they've been scoring at will. But when you look at who they've been scoring on, they haven't really faced the doomsday defense here. So, Baltimore at Buffalo. Yeah, and Buffalo also, their rush defense, I worry about it. They've held four of the last seven opponents to under 90 rushing yards. They give up 163 to the Colts, 140 to Denver in Week 15, 145 to New England in Week 16. And Baltimore has rushed for 230 yards in five of the past six games. In the game they didn't rush for 230, they rushed for only 159. I mean, they've only turned the ball over two or more times, three times this season. Their rush defense is playing great. I think Baltimore's got a very good chance. Problem is that I think this can be a high-scoring game, what I call a track meet. Buffalo's 5-1 and in track meets this year, and the Ravens are 2-2. Two and two. So I just think Buffalo... I, I like them being at home, the way they play in track meets. All right. Uh, on Sunday, of course, you can hear these games on 97.3 ESPN. Our cover starts at 2.30. One thought every game. Casey Joyner, Cleveland, a surprise. Not a surprise winner, but how convincingly they won that game. They're up big. They hold on. They pull away. Kansas City, we know here in Philly, Andy Reid off the bye ain't losing this game. <laughs> yeah, Andy Reid off the bye. Also, uh, the Chiefs are going back to the approach they took late last year. Last 10 games of last season, they basically went to a run-heavy approach, run, you know, run the ball well and then go vertical as counterpunching. They didn't go to a pass-first offense. It was key to them winning a Super Bowl. They've been doing that the last four of the last five games this year. In the last four games, please may not be take out the Week 17 game. They rushed for 524 yards. They posted fewer than 280 passing yards to those games. I think they're going to be run heavy. The Browns did two Jekyll and Hyde. They got 32 or more points in eight games this year, but they tallied 16 or fewer points in five contests. And I just think that uh, Kansas City is going to be able to uh, – you know, they could win either kind of matchup. If it's low scoring, they've got more firepower, and if it's high scoring, they can win a shootout. Can they stop the run, though? If Cleveland dedicates to the run, how does Kansas City match up there? 
That is the one place where I think that uh, Kansas City would have problems because they, their run defense isn't good. Their red zone defense is terrible. So that's why they have to go to the run game to protect their defense more. And, and I think that if if, can't, if the Browns can rush for 150, and I give them a 50-50 shot at one of the game, I'm not sure that they can just because Kansas City is going to hold the ball. All right, let's go to uh, the Sunday night game. It is Tampa Bay at New Orleans. This one's interesting. I mean, Tampa lost both games. The last time they lost 38-3. to um, You would think, all right, New Orleans has their number. Line doesn't say so. It says it's going to be a close game, but – you see a close game this time around. I think it's definitely this is the pick 'em game of, of the entire weekend. If you had to say what's the a true toss game, I think this is the closest to it. What the thing gets me is that Brady last week 365 passing yards, 507 total offensive yards to the Bucks, 31 points against a stout Washington defense, and everybody's talking about Heineke. Like, come on, guys, this guy, he, you know, they scored 31 more points and posted 400 more offensive yards in four straight games. They had two giveaways in that span. That had been a problem for them for a while. Their defense is also playing great. The problem is that uh, the Saints, they're not a pass-centric offense. They've only thrown for 300 more passing yards once since week five. But and they do get in the low-scoring games, and you're only four and three in those games. So I, it, it, I think it's, I think those are the factors. They also picked up three giveaways in, in both the games against the Bucks earlier this year. I don't think they'll do that this week. So it's a very much a toss-up matchup. I would take New Orleans just because they're home, but it wouldn't surprise me to see either team win. If somebody gets upset, Green Bay, Buffalo, Kansas City, New Orleans, Casey Joyner, who gets upset? Uh, I would say the Buffalo gets upset because Baltimore. If they get that ground game going, again, 230 more yards in five of the past six games, if they put up that kind of number against Buffalo's rush defense, that's not good for Buffalo. And Buffalo found out earlier this year, too, that, it's again, it's hard even if you're a great offense to win shootout games, and they and Baltimore is perfectly capable of getting into that. Even though Buffalo's 5-1, and one, that could be an anomaly for them. All right, Casey Joyner with one thought on every game. He'll be back on Monday to break back down these games. We'll be talking about the – championship round of the NFL. Many people didn't think it would ever get here, but they're getting there. And these four games this weekend, you can hear all right here on 97.3 ESPN. And Casey Joyner, like all guests, appeared via the boardwalk Honda hotline. All right, Casey, appreciate it, man. Hey, thanks, Mike.